Hey everyone, this is Peter with carace.net. I'm going to be doing a six-part browser series to let our followers and readers out there know which browser is best for you based on your situation and phone. Uh, before you see a Samsung Galaxy S running Android 2.1, and let's jump into the default browser here. Okay, so when you come into it initially at the top, you're going to see the, your URL bar. You're going to see a bookmark, bookmark button in the top right, which turns to a stop button if you're going in between pages. When you start panning around the page, you notice you have your magnification buttons, but then this browser also has pinch zooming, as you can see there. When you press your menu button, you get more options, such, such as new window, add RSS feeds, uh, your window manager, a more, a forward, and a refresh. The back in this browser is going to be your back button on the phone, whether you have a touch screen or you have physical buttons. So let's go into our window manager first. As you can see, you just have the option to go to a new window or to kill one of those windows. So let's just go to a standard one. Jumping back in to the menu button, um, you can see that once we go to more, we have pretty standard options. Add bookmark, find on page, select text, page info, share page, downloads. Uh, at the bottom is brightness settings. And pretty all standard stuff on most browsers on Android. Let's go into settings. As you can see, the, the first section is going to be your page content settings. So you can do block pop-up windows. Um, you can choose whether to automatically load images on a page. So if, for the most part, you just read text documents and a lot of the images are ads. You can turn that off so that you load web pages faster. As you scroll down, you can get into your JavaScript, um, plugins, landscape only display. You also have the option of opening new windows in the background in case you kind of click a couple links on every page. You can do that so you don't have to keep going back to your start page, uh, your default storage, whether it's going to be the phone or the SD card. Next is your privacy settings, pretty standard when compared to any browser you would use on a computer, um, except at the bottom you have your enable location. Um, so if you want to save a little bit more battery when browsing, I would turn that off just because it's going to use your GPS locator to get your location. And this is going to apply to like Google.com uses your location when you're searching to automatically prioritize if you're, let's say, searching for a movie theater and you're in Seattle, Washington, it's going to prioritize movie theaters if you just type that in in the Seattle area and then do normal results after that. Uh, after that is security settings, um, advanced settings, pretty basic stuff. The stock browser doesn't have a lot of I would say extra features or gadgets. You know, it's going to get you from point A to point B when browsing. Um, as far as bookmarks go, when you add a bookmark, you can add your current page. As you see, you can go to other bookmark pages. You have your most visited, and then you have your history. So again, pretty standard stuff. If you're using it, your Android system for the first time, I would get familiar with this browser first if you've never really used smartphone browsers before. But after this, I think even the most basic of users should at least upgrade to one of the other five browsers that you can see in our six-part series, only because they make your browsing experience a little bit easier, a little more streamlined. And as you'll see in the upcoming videos, each browser kind of brings its own set of skills to the table for individuals who are looking to search for certain things or looking for a certain experience when searching the web. So uh, take a look at those videos. Uh, you can find them all on careace.net. Uh, we're also on YouTube and Twitter, all in the same format, Carace or Carace.net. So search for us there, and thanks for tuning in. All right, bye.